Saturation is the step before distortion. There are different types of distortion. Generally, tape will not distort, it will saturate. Well, the more you saturate, at some point it distorts. The more we saturate and the more we distort, we start blending things together. We lose a little bit of clarity over the individual instruments. And so that is something that sometimes is desired. Like for example, when we are mastering, we are processing the entire track through kind of like the same effect. It adds a little bit of tape saturation, which is pleasant, is nice. It already colors the sound. And the louder, the closer to zero or beyond zero, the more it's going to color to a point that it's going to start saturating. You're doing this by bringing up the input and maybe bringing down the output. You can tweak all these bias and high frequencies and all these things. But when you are using something that's simpler, like this guy here, basically what you're going to be messing around is going to be with just saturation. Because at the end of the day, is how much saturation do we want? Hey, hope this was fun, useful, and entertaining. Go to composinghack.com for free courses.